I've been waiting for you. I bought a model airplane. You see the father and son happily assembling it on the box? I thought maybe that could be you and me. Son, if you want to sniff glue, just ask for the glue. <laughs> don't make me waste a buck on a model you don't want. Where's your sister? She's up in her room. Oh, oh, oh! done before. <laughs> what a masterful stroke. <laughs> Why didn't I do this sooner? Oh, yes. Daddy, I have a surprise. We're coming down now. Oh, we can't wait. <laughs> My baby. Come on down, pal. We're dying to meet you. Ooh, Daddy, this is my baby. I call it Wags the Dog. What do you think? No! I painted this all by myself. It's my project for art class, and it's late. Ryan, put a cover on it for me, will you? Yeah, if it was mine, I'd cover it too. <laughs> all right, I'm going. She is so smart. How did she not see this coming? I see it coming. You people see it coming. Everybody knows I'm gonna do something stupid and ruin this painting. <laughs> the only question is, how? This long, sharp knife? <laughs> I think not. This highly flammable paint thinner? That painting shredder? That box of dynamite? <laughs> how? How? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Sorry, wrong number. <laughs> oh, so that's how. Hit the road, Jack. Your sister needs that painting to go to school. Uh-oh. They didn't forget I was down here as I hoped. <laughs> I know. I'll save the day with a painting of my own, cover it, and fail to believe that there'll be any consequences. <laughs> well, just like kindergarten, except without the beatings. <laughs> Amazing. For once, he did something without screwing it up. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mailman. Okay, Miss 
Caulfield, let's see what you've done, shall we? I hope you don't mind, Miss Snalops, but I used you as a model. <laughs> The goddess Snailops. Oh my God, it's it's a perfect likeness. A plus plus. <laughs> That's not art. It's kissing up. Who cares? Like I really want to be a starving artist living in some mm. attic with bad lighting and rats. <laughs> like an agent would if life were fair. <laughs> They say that every time an assistant makes agent, a bell rings in hell. Miss <laughs> Malloy, would you like to show us your painting? Gladly. I give you Wags the Dog. <laughs> oh, oh no, I have to explain. Sister, mother, Mary, Margaret. There's no need to explain. Your work shows it all. The anger. The rush of today's life, the misunderstood pathos of the human soul. Where's my doggy? Yes. That is exactly what it says. Where's my doggy? Um, I have something to say. I think the class has something to say to you, Ms. Malloy. You know, Jack, I know nobody agrees with me, but I think Monica Lewinsky is kind of hot. <laughs> Come on, Floppy. She's a Pillsbury Dough girl. <laughs> sure, she's a chub, but she looks so soft and inviting. She's cuddly. She's squeezable. And she brings a pizza. <laughs> she's cute. Nah. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Admit it. You think she's cute? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, I do. Sucker! <laughs> Jack and Monica sitting in a tree. E A T I N G. <laughs> Crack goes the branch and down they go. Thank God they landed on Cheryl Crow. <laughs> Dad, I'm scared. Well, you should be. You've got no education, no skills, and you're not much to look at. I'm not worried about the future, Dad. I mean, I can always be an agent. Yeah. It's Tiffany. She's really gonna kill me this time. Son, I have told you a thousand times, when she used to hold that pillow over your face, it was only a game. I mean, I was always in the room to make sure you never stopped breathing completely. And believe me, it came pretty close a couple of times. <laughs> Thanks for being there for me, Dad. Ah. I'll tell you, though, this is serious. Instead of covering her painting, I ruined it and I had to paint a new one. That one she has at school is mine. You're kidding me, right? You come to me with this stale and simplistic sitcom plot twist that went out with I Love Lucy actually looking for a solution? <laughs> You just had to be in the show, didn't you? Dad. Oh, Lucy, you got some splaining to do. Good going, Jack. Why didn't you carry on that interesting bit a little longer? No one wants to see me. Do you, kids? <laughs> You are my people. I love you for loving me. All right, Floppy. All right, what do you want to talk about? I'm pent up with rage, Jack. Give me something to rant about. Well, let's see. Uh, Tiffany wants to be an artist. Art, please. There are no artists left in the world, Jack. Future Picassos are drawing King of the Hill. <laughs> You're taking over Fox. Some schlep draws a kid with a potato head. Oh, great, he'll be Hank Hill's son. <laughs> There's your art. A bunch of circles with feet they call animation. If Rembrandt were alive today, he'd be drawing Dilbert. And if Michelangelo was alive, he'd be hitching a ride on Santa Monica Boulevard with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> I 
bet you'd like to forget that one, eh, Eddie? <laughs> Tiffany, Tiff you can't kill him. He's finally useful. I don't care, Daddy. Make Ross take out the garbage from now on. No, oh, no. Your teacher just called. This little idiot got you a meeting with a critic. They love the painting. A critic wants to see my work? No, not your work. His work with your name on it. And if he gives it a good review, that means money for us. But, Daddy, I want people to love me for my work. Oh. Well, then I guess you should have had some talent, huh? <laughs> Daddy, I've been thinking I really don't feel right about taking credit for somebody else's work. Oh, why not? What's wrong with that? I still call myself Ross's father. <laughs> you know, I was finally going to give him back to the mailman. But someone killed him. You know, I was thinking, Dad, I don't feel right about somebody else taking credit for my work. Everybody in this family is insane. Now listen to me. You are the creative one. You're like the writer behind the great actor. And it's the words, not the shell of the actor, that bring the play alive. Without you, we have nothing. You're the guy who wrote Pretty Woman. And Tiffany is just... Well, she's just Julia Roberts. Who wrote Pretty Woman, Dad? I don't know. But he knows. Whoever he is. Look, the important thing is that you have found a gift. I mean, you screw up everywhere else, but you got this one talent. You're like... You're like the elephant man. Nobody knows it. All right, that sounds great, Dad. Can you say... I am not an animal! I am a human being! Can you say, I'm not a Malloy, I'm the dead mailman's kid? <laughs> That's just a joke, right, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> well, Floppy, today's the big day. Tiffany is showing her work to that hoity-toity critic from the arts and stuff section of the Daily Northridgian. Critics! They're one step lower than the girl that books appointments at Fantastic Sam's. <laughs> they critique what they can't understand. I took an art class in elementary school, and now I'm a critic. I watched a lot of TV when I was a kid because I had no friends, and now I'm a critic for USA Today. <laughs> Everybody's a critic. Even the slacker toad at the video store is an expert with his shelf of employee-recommended videos. Wow, if the guy with the blue hair and the nose ring liked Red Corner, I've just got to see it. <laughs> You're not going to be the next Quentin Tarantino, pal. Or worse, he might be. <laughs> I'm seething with rage, Jack. If you people are seething like me, go to your windows and scream, bring back Unhappily Ever After. <laughs> are they screaming in Cleveland, Jack? Yeah, uh... No, no, they're not, Floppy. What about Miami? Uh, nope, sorry, Floppy, no. What about San Francisco? Well, I... well they're screaming, all right. Hey, Ross, where's Ryan? Painting your picture. You know, I used to respect you. I would never let anyone put my name on something I didn't do. Oh, yeah? And how come when I beat up that bully at your school, you had me say, this is for Ross? <laughs> she was a year older than me. <laughs> if she was my age, I would have handled it myself. <laughs> God, I'd love a shot at either one of those Olsen twins. I tell you, Tiff, I feel good about myself. I haven't felt this much satisfaction since the time I held that little girl's arms behind her back while you beat the hell out of her. She was picking on Ross. She called me ma'am. I wish you were the one holding her arms and I was the one pummeling her kidneys. Oh. Yeah, well, I wish I was the artist and not Julia Roberts. Ryan, what inspires you to paint? I don't know. I think about all the crummy things in my life. All the girls I dated who went to the bathroom and never came back. All the phony phone numbers girls gave me. All the disguised voices that said, no, my daughter's dead. <laughs> I can hear her laughing in the background. The dead don't laugh. They don't laugh. 
you know, stuff like that. Actually, I could use a little inspiration for my painting right now. <clears throat> Hello, is Betty there? It's Ryan Malloy. When did she die? <laughs> and who's that laughing? The dead don't laugh. They don't laugh! <laughs> Ryan, who did you call? Betty Winslow. She is dead. It was in the paper today. Hmm. I guess it wasn't laughing, it was sobbing. <laughs> well, she wouldn't go out with me when she was alive. The hell with her. Actually, that'll be the title of my new painting. The Hell with Dead Betty. That's why my work lacks depth. I haven't suffered. I have to give up something I value. My new cashmere sweater. It's so nice and soft. But I must, for my art. I can't stand the thought of the poor wearing it, so I'll just throw it away. Hide it in the closet. <laughs> there! I'm suffering. It's cold in here, but I won't turn up the heat. Oh, no! Burr! Grr! I'm running the gamut. I can paint now. My body suffers, but my soul is free. And now, raw emotion. Pain, rage, anger! Cold, cashmereless, freezing agony. Dash irony. Subtext. Burr. Grr. It just needs more pain. Hello, Bob. I was wondering if you'd like to go out with me. You would? Well, gee, that's too bad, because I don't want to go out with you. <laughs> I felt his pain. <laughs> You must be Tiffany Malloy. I am Henri Francais, the greatest critic in all of North Ridge. I'm very excited to meet you. Oh. All us kids agree that you're much better than the Van Eyes critic, Ed Smith. Uh, he is not even creative enough to come up with a phony name or a phony accent like this. <laughs> Miss Malloy, with a good review from moi, we will hang your picture there, in their place of honor for all to see. In the guitar spot? <laughs> My painting will hang where that guitar has hung for almost a year. Mm. <laughs> Boy, it must be something great to replace the big guitar. <laughs> oh, what pride one must feel. <laughs> My painting or his? Mine. I will live or die on my own talent. I will never again take credit for another's work. I'm ready. Voila! <laughs> what do you think? It stinks. <laughs> Did you understand the undercurrent of cashmereless existential despair? Yes, it still stinks. <laughs> Henry, I'm so disappointed you found nothing in my class worthy of your admiration. That is not true. For ever since junior high, I have always loved you, Georgina Snellops. <laughs> and I have always loved you, Henry Rabinowitz. Oh. 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 Now I'm suffering. <laughs> Are we rich? Did he like it? He hated it. You stink. <laughs> Dad, I... Nope. If you want to talk to me, call me on the phone. Oh. <clears throat> Hello, is my dad there? Uh, he's dead. <laughs> I just saw him. Well, it happened very suddenly. His last words were, goodbye. <laughs> I can't believe they hated my painting. I didn't show him your painting, Ryan. I refused to believe that I didn't have any talent, so I showed him mine. 
I'm sorry I believed in me more than I did you. That's okay. Who wouldn't? You know, the truth is, I'm actually tired of all the attention, all the pressure of being an artist. It's actually easier to be nothing. A little lesson I learned from Amelia Westervis. Boy, you're lucky he didn't realize you ruined any chance he had at a future by not showing his painting. Hey, wait a second. I just realized you ruined any chance I had at the future. I want to show that critic my painting. I did. He hated it. I was trying to give you a chance at a future still believing in yourself. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Another sad sitcom defeat. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do with your painting? Well, sometimes you have to listen to the critics. I threw it away. When everybody hates it, where else does it belong but in the trash? Next on Fox, the hip cutting edge cartoon series, Wags the Dog. <laughs> You've never seen anything like this. Don't! <laughs> be so low as to steal a young girl's painting from the garbage. Hey, well, I don't care what the writers think. This is a Ryan Malloy package. I'm an agent. I run this town. The Olsen twins will do nudity and like it. 